What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to The Breakdown. This is the series where I analyze subscriber gameplay to help you improve. In today's episode, we're going to be analyzing an above average kill confirmed gameplay on the map Metro from KL Havoc. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's start it off with the classic he decided to use. So he's using the Razorback with Quick Draw, Foregrip, Stock, and Extended Mags. And this is great. These are all really good attachments for the Razorback. I love having that stock so I can strafe back and forth, help me adjust my aim and everything. Uh, quick Draw is also great when you're running it with Fast Hands, which he is. And that Foregrip makes this already really accurate gun even more accurate. So that's kind of awesome. This thing is basically going to be like an assault rifle with SMG mobility. And I really like how it's set up there. As far as the extended mags, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I, I don't think it's really necessary, but it will definitely help. For perks, we have Sixth Sense, Fast Hands, like I said, and Tack Mask. And really, there is nothing wrong with this class whatsoever. It's a great class. So now let's get into the gameplay here. And like I said at the beginning, this is an above average gameplay. So this guy definitely seems to know what he's doing. He generally has very good awareness of what's going on around him and where to expect his enemies to be coming from. Also, he's got pretty good gun skill, actually quite good gun skill. His accuracy could use a little bit of work in some situations, but for him, I honestly think that's just something you have to be a little bit more conscious of while you're playing. It's not that your accuracy sucks all the time, it's actually generally, generally pretty good. There are just times where it's definitely something that's holding you back throughout this gameplay. So right here is something that I notice he does a lot in this gameplay. He pushes towards that middle of the map and he just tries to slay everything. He's not using cover extremely effectively, but he's using his gun skill to his advantage, plus his awareness of where the enemies are. He almost always knows where the enemies are. And right there was an excellent little jump shot around the corner. Just makes a really hard target to hit and it's great to come around corners where you don't know for sure if there's going to be an enemy there or not. In this next gunfight, this is something that I highly recommend with SMGs, and he does it very well. His enemy actually takes him off guard, but because he has that stock on his SMG, and he actually strafes side to side in this gunfight, he's able to evade his enemy's shots and get the kill on him. So you see this in a lot of his gunfights, he's using evasive techniques while shooting his enemy, he does it again right there, and this is a sign of an experienced player that really knows what he's doing. Now something you might notice throughout this gameplay is he's kind of riding that fine line between blindly rushing the tags which he doesn't do very often he doesn't just blindly run towards tags which is great a lot of beginner players make this mistake and kill confirmed they see a tag and they just sprint straight for it and they don't really think about the dangers that could be waiting around that corner or just aiming at the at their uh, tag that they're trying to go for he doesn't blindly rush them but at the same time he's still making an effort to pick the tags up there are a few scenarios though where i feel like he could have made a little bit more of an effort to pick up the tags and he would have been safe to do so, but he just didn't do it. And throughout this entire gameplay, I think he did give up quite a few points that he could have potentially had pretty easily by just picking up the tags that were right there in front of him. Now, in this gunfight right here, this is something that I see a lot from him, and I think it's just a little bit of overconfidence in his gun skill. I do this too sometimes. I just feel like I'm unstoppable. There's no way I'm going to lose this gunfight. And therefore, you kind of forget some of the basics. In this scenario right here, his enemy has the clear advantage of having cover. He has no cover right now, standing out in the open like this. He has a very easy option to strafe into cover. All he has to do is move a little bit to the right, and he'll have perfect cover and be nice and safe. And then he can try to challenge that enemy with a little bit more confidence. But instead, he stands his ground right out in the open and tries to challenge this guy head on, and he loses. And he should have lost that gunfight, and he should have known that he was going to lose that gunfight. So I see this quite a bit throughout this gameplay. You'll see also right here, he kind of jumps right into the middle of things and he just tries to challenge enemies head on. And in some cases, this does work for him because he does have that gun skill, but he is losing a lot of gunfights and dying a lot of times that are really unnecessary. And it's simply because he's not really thinking about the basics of using cover effectively and making sure you give yourself the advantage in a gunfight before the gunfight actually happens. Just to contrast that last situation we looked at, this is what he should have done, and this is actually what he did the next time he approached a situation. So you can see that he is learning as he goes, and he's adapting as he goes. He realized, okay, that was probably not the smartest move. So he plays it a lot smarter at first here, where he's aiming down sight, coming around this corner, being ready for those enemies. But then again, he jumps kind of out into the open, away from his cover, to try and challenge a guy, and that's another death that could have been avoided. Now, as he spawns in, I just want you to listen really quick here. Style Hellstorm overhead. 
He got the notification that the Hellstorm was coming in, and instead of just jumping into that window that was right beside him and he would have been guaranteed safety in there, he jumped back towards where his teammates were in the open and he tried to shoot it with his gun. Now, I don't know if he was just trying to, trying to go for a cool clip or something like that. It's very possible that that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to shoot that Hellstorm and, and do something really cool there. But this is a death that he could have very easily avoided by simply jumping into that window. He had plenty of time to do it, but he just chose not to. Now skipping ahead a little bit here, I really like how he's playing to the strengths of the Razorback. This is pretty much the perfect range of the Razorback. You don't want to run into other SMGs super close. Even a lot of assault rifles will beat you super close. But right here he runs into this guy and instead of pushing towards him, he backs off just a little bit to keep that distance and keep the enemy in that situation where he has the advantage with the Razorback. So I love what he did there. Now skipping ahead a little bit again, in this situation here, again, I think he just has a little bit too much confidence with his gun skill, and he bites off more than he can chew. He tries to challenge three enemies here. Now he does have great cover, he gets his first kill, but after that first kill, I don't think he should have stayed and tried to challenge the other two guys. He had taken a little bit of damage, it's very easy for him to just straight to the side, take cover, and then handle the situation in a different way with full health, ready to go, but instead he decides to stay out and try to challenge the other two guys and he doesn't even finish one of those two kills. He just ends up getting himself killed unnecessarily here. So again, just a little too much confidence. Don't be afraid to back off a little bit if you're hurt and you're not too sure if you're going to win that gunfight, especially when you have cover easily available to you. So that's all I really wanted to point out from today's episode. This shows a great example of how gun skill is an awesome thing that will help you win a lot of gunfights, but overconfidence in your gun skill can be a detriment, especially when you start to neglect the basics. So by the end of the game, his team did end up losing, but he did kind of try to carry his team. He, he was the dominant force in his team, although I would say that he could have picked up a few more tags. He was definitely the one trying to carry his team, and he kind of got the short end of the stick as far as teammates go, but hey, that happens. So again, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not accepting any gameplays at the moment. I still have tons and tons of gameplays submitted to me that I haven't even gotten to to have a look at yet, so I'm not looking for any new gameplays at the moment. But I will definitely keep you guys posted and let you know when I start looking for more gameplays. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.